And you know, I'm a Habs fan. And every time these Bruins fans talk to me, I say, talk to me after you got 24 cups. Oh, uh, you poor Habs fan. What do you, who, who do you face off again yeah. uh, next week? Who do you got next week in the right. first round? Right. Hey, ready, Mike? Talk to you when you got 24 cups. And that's what I want. With no, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry. Who's your first round matchup against again? I don't have it, but talk to me after I got 24 cups. Dude, you sound like the Red Sox. You yeah. got knocked out Anyways. by the Rangers. No, 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 good, no, good job, Jules. Go back 40 years when there were six teams and your regional rights gave you all the good, good players. Who do you got? Oh, that's hey, right. You're out of the playoffs for the yeah. third time it in four really years. Is. But as far as Brady, okay, build around him. Build around Brady. No matter what we do for the next guy, it's not going to be Brady. It's not going to be him. You know what I'm saying? So just get what we can. And we'll see what happens after that. Okay, okay, but I don't want the next guy to suck. That, that's my point. I know the next guy is not going to be Brady. I'm not delusional about that. I just want them to have somebody that actually gives them a chance to do something. That's all. And right now, they don't have anything remotely close. I don't like Rosen's face at all. I don't like the face. <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with it. Okay, you don't I have to. Want, I want more rings with Brady. I want more. As he, like, can, he's the best ever. It's ridiculous what he's done. Okay, but, but let's live it out to some more years. But why, but why just give up? Why just give up on what comes next? We're all going to be hopefully still here. The earth is still going to be spinning on its axis. They're still going to be playing football on Sunday. Uh, we've been over this, but I, I, I just, I'm stunned. And I think, I think fans have gotten cocky that it's that easy. You know, we'll just get the next guy when it's time. No, I think it's more that people want to enjoy the time remaining with Tom Brady more than anything else. Yeah, but Murray, why are those things mutually exclusive? Like you can do both. Hey, you, you use all the picks. To help the best of all time. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is this? Go ahead, Billy. Where are the Canadians now? Who you got this week? Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, poor Montreal. How many championships? How many championships? No, 24? When you, you had six teams. So, wait a minute. I gotta hear this stink of your farts like these Celtics fans who won championships when there were eight teams. And the competition were six foot four white guys named Dolph wearing knee pads and belts. And that's why you have all these banners. Congratulations on the 24 in the six team league. <laughs> Go ahead, Billy. Oh, it's too bad. I'm going to miss the Canadian. Too bad. That's too bad. That's just too bad. Oh, and you lost on a shootout, too. Oh, that's right. Columbus won in a shootout in a cheesy sort of modern way to kill you on. Columbus won in a shootout. Ha, ha, ha. And that eliminated Montreal. Hey, Bruins writers. Hey, Ty, everybody. DJ, where's Claude? What does Claude got this week? Oh, he missed the playoffs again? Really? He did? No. Wait a minute. Scotty Bowman missed the playoffs for now what? Let me just try to do the quick math. Is that the fourth time in five years Claude has missed the play? So the only time Claude has made the playoffs in the last five or six years, it's something, is when he inherited that good Montreal team at the end of the year? He's missed him every year since, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Too bad. Yeah. Tough break. Ah, such a tradition-rich team there, caller. 20, I mean, 24? 24. What's that? I'm sorry, was that a... Four-team league or a six-team six team league? Congratulations. <laughs> oh, hey, DJ, where's Claude? Where's Claude? Who does he got this week? Who does he? Oh, that's right. He missed the playoffs again for the fourth time in five years. Is that right, Mass? Yep, correct. The only time he's made the playoffs in the last five years is when he inherited Tyrion's team. <laughs> Michelle Tyrion, that bag of crap. And they, lost, and they lost in six. He's the one that qualified for the playoffs. Claude took over. They lost a one and done. That sounds familiar. Uh, Claude lost again the first. So Claude has been. A, do you, do you remember the caterwauling when they fired Claude Julien from the Bruins people who cover the team? Like, oh, who's gonna go before you fire the guy? You should figure out who's gonna coach the team, Felger. I don't, my aunt Millie could coach the team better than Claude based on his track record. Who does it matter who the next guy was? It wasn't Claude. Oh my God, they missed the playoff. Claude missed the playoffs again. Thank you for reminding me. Ah, oh, that's, that's too bad. A nice guy. Good guy. Good guy. I like Claude, too. As a person, good dude. Can he coach? I don't know. Four of the last... Who has a job when you miss the playoffs in the NHL? Four out of five years. And the fifth, the year he, quote-unquote, qualified, he took over a team that was in first place, I think. That was Michelle Therrien's qualification, not Claude's. 
Oh, uh, it's too bad. You can tell that was pent up, huh? No, no. Oh, <laughs> I meant to schedule that. I forgot all about it. Thank you for the caller for taking me there. Montreal fan. <laughs> And does he have like three more years on his contract? Oh, keep counting your championships in the three-team NHL or whatever it was. That's great. You beat like two teams a year. That's tremendous. That's great. And they have the territorial rights to every player in Canada, for crying out loud. Ontario, anyway. Oh, it's always a great day. Always a great day when Montreal's eliminated. Always. I have only one sporting goal the rest of my life, and that's for Montreal never to win another cup. Like I've got, I'm 49. I've, I hope I can make it, I don't know, 35, 40 years, something along these lines. If they never win a championship, that I will die a happy man. I will die. I, I don't even want my teams to win. I just don't want them to. If they don't, I, if the Brewers, Bucks, the Packers, they don't have to win another thing. They don't have to win another GD thing. The Bruins don't even have to win. Just so Montreal doesn't. And I'll die a happy man. But they're well on their way. Just keep flowing. Oh, but he speaks French. <laughs> That's right. You idiots up there. You co- you care what language your, your coach speaks. It doesn't. Does, does he suck? It doesn't matter. He speaks French, so throw him in there. You morons. Oh, I love that. That's the best part about Montreal. They trade P.K. Subban because he thought he was bigger than the team. Oh, you're not bigger than us. We have 24. Idiots. Never mind, it was a six-team league, and they handed us the best players for decades. No, we've got we've won 24, so no one's bigger than us. Oh, idiots. No, but here's a good idea. Hey, Montreal, we have a coach who could actually, oh, I don't know, qualify for the postseason. Maybe, here, we're going to give you a coach that could win you a cup. The problem, he doesn't speak French. No. We will not, we will not do that, we don't know, no! You idiots, you morons, you morons. Keep signing the coach just because he speaks a certain language, you idiots. Oh, it's so good. He speak. he can do a bilingual press conference though, so great, there you go, there you go. And But the Bruins writers, where are you folks? Four out of five years, really five straight, because the fifth doesn't count, that was Tyrion's, that was Tyrion's playoff year. Good Lord, oh, that's so fun. Oh, I enjoy the crap out of that. <laughs> Stephen Holbrook, go ahead on the Bruins. What do you got? What's up, guys? Well, I'll tell you what, Sawyer, you make me laugh. I thought I'd do the last out, but Jesus Christ, after that, that's pretty good. I'm on with you on that boat. 